Hey, what's up? My name is Chris, uh, one of the owners here at LA Pump, and I just wanted to uh, share, with, share this little video, make this little video, and introduce our new Hush Pump 2.0. Uh, we discontinued the old blue Hush Pump. It was a great device, but um, found this other one that I think is better for a lot of reasons, and decided to import this one and discontinue the old Hush Pump. Uh, again, love the old hush pump, but this one's just a lot better and I'm really excited about it and offering it to you all. Apologies for the lot, um, for all the ums in the video. I'm not editing this. I'm just making this real quick because I'm excited to share this and I want to get it up on the site. Eventually I'll make it, make a better video, edit it, make it all fancy and schmancy, but it's about the product, right? It's about the product. So hush pump 2.0. It's great. Really, really cool. I've got a demo cylinder here with an inflatable dildo in it that I benagled. I put a hose clamp on it to keep it in there, and I put some lubricant in there uh, to show you all how it works. Really, really cool device. It's quiet. It's light. My favorite part, uh, rechargeable. It's USB-C, rechargeable, so you don't need batteries anymore. Really cool. I was having a lot of issues with the battery compartments on the other hush pumps. So as always, when you in insert the male coupler into the female, you want to hear a click. There's the click, you know, you got a seal in there. Pull it, make sure it's on good. Yep. All right, so it's got one manual setting. Obviously you turn it on and off. The cool thing about it is when you turn it, when you stop it, it will save that pressure level you, stop it at, you stopped it at. So if you wanna stop it at six or seven, just press stop and it'll always stay there. If it loses a little pressure, it'll go back to seven on its own. Really, really cool. So let's just show you. Who's filling up the cylinder? Mr. Happy is starting to grow. And there he goes. The middle button, the little red button, is a pressure release button. And if you press it, it just releases a little bit of pressure. Just a little. Really cool. And just keep going. So great, great device. It also has some smart functions. As you can see here, smart. See how it's staying at two. That's the number I stopped it at. Loses a little bit of pressure, it's gonna go back there. And if you press it again, it'll keep going up. Let's say we wanted to stop at 10. It'll stay right there. It'll keep it right there at that number you want. It's probably losing a little bit of pressure because it's not a perfect seal, um, the way I have it all rigged up with this hose clamp. But when it's on your member, it should have a good seal and it should keep you where you want to go. I always like to, when I get to my desired pressure level, disconnect it. Um, it's max pressure. If I hold, it goes pretty high up. But you don't want to use a lot of pressure. Always, always, my best advice, don't use a lot of pressure. So again, we turn it off to get to the smart functions. There's the smart functions. It's got six different modes. One, two, three, four, five, six. They all do different things. It comes with instructions right here. So you get an idea of what the modes are. Uh, the six smart modes. Let me turn this bad boy off real quick. So, smart mode two through six, smart mode one, pump air to the cell to the set maximum value, then immediately release all the air and cycle automatically, and it'll go on for 20 minutes. Really cool. Uh, smart mode two through six, according to the set maximum value, again, you set that. There's a, you press, um, you long press the on and off button to create the memory of your set maximum value. According to the set maximum value, the free variable frequency pumping and air releasing cycle will be performed. They have different cycles. I'm not gonna set the memory right now, but I'll show you the way the cycles work. So if we go, if we go to two, you'll see it's like, it's like a, see it's like a frequency, but I didn't set a memory level, so it's not gonna go to any number.
and the third does something similar but at a different frequency, a different interval, so to speak. So really cool device, um, really excited to offer it. Ah, so you press and hold the smart button to create the memory. So let's try that. We're gonna pump to five. So we keep it at five. Now I press and hold the smart button. Boom, there's the memory. It's a little heart, heart logo, heart icon. So now if we go to one, or two, see, it'll get to five. It'll never go past your set maximum value. Really cool, really good way to not over pump. But yeah, that's about it. I don't wanna make this video too long. I just wanted to introduce this um, Hush Pump 2.0, as I call it. Uh, really cool device, very excited to offer it. If you have any questions, always feel free to call me or reach out. Again, my name is Chris, you know I am here to help.